Hey everyone, I'm just going to take you through a quick uh, haul of what I bought at garage sales this weekend. These are not all from the same garage sale. This is from multiple sales. Okay, so one of the first items I want to show you is this great Fenton Swan Glass Vase. It is actually in satin on the top and clear amber on the bottom. It is a 100 year anniversary piece. I only paid $7.50 for this. Um, about $75 is the value. Next, another swung glass vase. This is pink depression glass. Um, I paid $5 for it. It's not gonna go for a lot of money, but it will go for that $40, $45 mark. At that same sale that I got those two at, I bought this hand-painted Bristol glass vase. This truly is old, probably Victorian era. Um, let's see, what did I pay? $3, I think I can get about 45. I also bought this cute little wall hanging cherub. There probably had been like two of them, but there was only one there. I paid $3 for this. It's from Norcrest, uh, a Japanese ceramic company, probably from the 1950s. Probably, let, let's say, at least $30. And then what did I get next? Um, this is actually a very old Westmoreland sugar bowl. Um, I only paid a buck for it. And I know I can probably get about 30 for it. Now, also remember, like, all my prices include the shipping. So you have to take that into consideration. Um, oh, I bought this for only a dollar. I do believe it's Murano glass. It's a bulcante, meaning it has controlled bubbles inside of it. But like a little perfume bottle. No chips, no cracks, cracks or anything. And only a dollar. I'm not sh quite sure, haven't looked this one up yet, but I'm thinking around that $35, $35 mark. Um, oh, stopped and got these nativity figurines from Italy. And it is a set of like 10 or 11, I believe, and paid a dollar for the whole bag. And they should sell for about $40, $45. Uh, next, I bought these, I would say the total, we'll see, one, two, three, four, five, probably six dollars. And what they are, are stoppers for perfume bottles. A lot of times people will need just the stopper. I'll probably list these all together for about $25. The one thing, I hardly ever list things less than $25 because I do include shipping. It's just not worth my time to do that. Um, I bought each of these perfume bottles were about a dollar a piece. I think I will put them all together. This one is very old. Um, it is from Paul, Salon Palmer. This one, I believe, is an Avon bottle, and this one is just like an art glass pink bottle. So these three bottles together probably it was a dollar a piece, so probably about 35 for the three perfume bottles. There are a lot of perfume bottle collectors out there. Um, oh, this is cute. I paid a dollar for him. He's a little ceramic dog, and if you can see, he has a hole in his mouth right there. So it's an ashtray, a smoker ashtray. So when you would put your cigarette in there, the smoke would come out of his mouth. No markings, um, certainly made in Japan, probably during the late 40s, early 50s. Peggy Carr cased glass. I have pretty good luck selling this. So I did pick this up for $2 and it's called um, Festive Bird Platter. Uh, it has cardinals on it, a woodpecker, a blue jay, and I don't know, maybe a sparrow. But this should sell pretty well right around that $45 mark also. Oh, and I, I don't know if I told you, I paid two. Um, 
if you watched my, or actually, yeah, if you watched my last video, you'll remember that I said in that motion lamp that I bought, I couldn't find a 40 watt light bulb that was not LED. And you can't use an LED light bulb in that because it doesn't produce enough heat to make the, the so um, wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with that. But guess what? I found one at a garage sale for a dollar. 40 watt regular light bulb. I got lucky. I picked up this um, for $2.50. And they are anatomy flashcards. And yes, of course, I'm going to have to list this on eBay, not Etsy. But for $2.50, these go for about $25 to $30. So probably great if you're in like some type of a medical course. So I'll get these listed on eBay. Oh, yes. And then I found this, which I love. It was only a buck. But a very old, just little Christmas decoration. A snowman and a lamppost. It doesn't light up or anything. I paid a dollar, maybe, I don't know, maybe $30. But, of course, I'll save it closer to Christmas, too. Uh, one of the bigger items I picked up was this um, embosser stamp. And it does, it has an embossed, like when you push it down, it will stamp your, your letter um, or paper. And it is from San Francisco. But this Lion Heads model is very old, early 1900s. I paid $20 for it and easily will sell it for 100 And then all hand stitched all hand embroidered baby quilt. It is so cute with a little embroider. My favorite one, of course, is this poodle. I'll try to hold it up. So my guess is probably done in the 50s. Um, but still, I paid $3 for this. I think I can probably get right around 50 for it. There is one thing I'm gonna include with it. So just hold on for a minute. So next up, I'm going to show you um, two box lots that I, I uh, picked up. Each box was $10. And I love those because you never know what you're going to find in them. I'm going to have to do a voiceover because I didn't want to hold each item up. But I'll show you how I separated it out. But this was inside the box lots. And you'll see a picture of it closer later. But what this, I found out what this is is it, uh, from the 1930s, it was a baby blanket holder. So you would use this to like, make sure the baby blanket didn't fly out of your pram or your buggy or whatever. So I'm actually gonna put this with the, the vintage quilt. So here are the box lots and I will explain to you how I group them together. Um, at $10 a box, I'll easily make my first, or I'll easily make that money back on my first sale of all the individual things. So this little Christmas tree I forgot to tell you about. Um, it is made in Sweden by Ronaby. Uh, paid three dollars for it. It's going to go for about forty-five to fifty-five dollars. Another one that I forgot to show you is this pink. It's a smaller head vase, probably from the 1960s. With head vases, you want to make sure they have um, eyelashes on them. If they have earrings and necklaces, they're going to go for even more. This one I picked up for $5. It should go between $45 and $55. Here are the two box lots I was telling you about. I paid $10 um, per box and then this is how I broke them down. This is the celluloid blanket clip from the 1930s. It is hand painted and I'm going to include that with that darling um, baby quilt. And these are Egyptian glass perfume bottles. They've become quite popular, not real valuable, but probably, you know, a $30 price point. And these are bohemian glass, a red, pink, and yellow cut to clear perfume bottles. Um, they are very nice. They have fauceted stoppers in them. I would think for these three, I could easily get about $55.
pot metal elephant. He stands about three inches tall. I thought at first he was a salt and pepper shaker, but he's not because the holes in his hat do not open up. I think they're just decorative. So I think it's just a figurine. It's very old. I would say I can get about $25 for him. This is a set of three paperweights. Two of them do have like the Cupid dolls uh, pictures inside of them. The other is a souvenir paperweight and I can't quite tell where it's from yet. Um, they're older. The Cupid doll ones are anyways. I would say I can get $30 for the three of them. These are miniature trophies, souvenir trophies, each one from a different city. The oldest one is dated, I believe, 1906. Um, look a couple of these up, and I would say for this little set of mini trophies, I'll get about $35. This is the Daisy and Buttons glass pattern. A lot of different glass manufacturers made this pattern. Um, it is an urn, a vase, and a little pitcher. They're all about two and a half inches tall, and I do believe I can get about $30 for these three pieces. A set of two urns made in the daisy and button pattern, one clear, one blue, and then the other is a shot glass that is uh, crystal and etched. And I'm also saying about $30 for th these three pieces. This set of five miniature pitchers, one is stainless steel, two iron stone, um, one is pottery, and one is uh, blue cobalt glass. I believe for this, this set of miniature pictures, I can get about $25. And this is two little, I believe, tea set plates with butterflies on them. A Windsor shot glass in the form of an ice skate. A Jack and Jill picture that depicts Jack and Jill falling down the hill and a green Washington glass bottle. And I'll probably put a price tag of about $30 on this too, maybe $25. And this is for toothpick holders. I believe one is Moon and Stars, the green one. And then I think the other green one is the Daisy and Button pattern. And then just two random clear, clear glass ones. Um, probably $30 for these. Then a set of four pitchers, well, three pitchers and a uh, small green pottery vase. Uh, I'll probably list those two for around $25 to $30. And these are mini cups and saucers. Um, quite a few stoneware ones in there. Uh, I especially like the little tea cup, and it has a bird for the handle. I'll list these for $25. And this is what's left over from the box lots. Um, anything in here is probably chipped or maybe... Um, broken a little bit so these are things I'll just donate someplace um, but if I add everything up that I can sell out of these two boxes which cost me $20 I should make a profit of about or at least over 300 so that kind of wraps up what I bought at these garage sales I think the total for everything was right around $90 um, but like I said I have when you're going to garage sales I usually do not fear making my money back because the items are so cheaply priced. Most of them. I also went to a garage sale that was ridiculously priced, that the things there were priced higher than what you could buy them online. So I am planning to go on the 100-mile um, garage sale trip um, this coming week. So my next few videos might be of that. I think I'll slip one in there while I'm gone on a different uh, subject, but stay tuned to watch my trip to Wisconsin. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. Bye.